I, uh, I did not sleep with Michelle last night. You slept in a different room? Mm, I fell asleep on the couch. Oh, boy. Yeah, downstairs. Slept with another female last night. It's a scout. <laughs> scout was sitting uh, just above my head. Oh, my God. Yeah. Hello. Good morning, sweetie. Good morning. Oh, so you find my uh, disorder that you've diagnosed me with very funny because you couldn't stop laughing in between each of the... Uh, are you going to laugh now? Well, w- w- would you rather me refer to it as your disorder or just that you eat like a beast? I'm the Especially original Mr. Beast. That's talking about. Yeah. All right. Go ahead. Uh, lay it out. Michelle has diagnosed... Well, she's always complained about the way I eat, but she is officially, as of yesterday... How did you stumble upon this? Well, I had to start looking up things like uh, putting too much food in your mouth. <laughs> So Michelle's yelling at me. I, I got um, I, what I have for. I, I made some rice. I made a you know you know me and my zojirushi rice maker. I made made some good niigata Japanese rice yesterday, uh, part of my lunch. And Michelle's yelling at me for. Uh, and I have chopsticks which I bought in the restaurant district in Tokyo, and I'm eating my rice. And Michelle's like chastising me for taking too much rice at a time with my chopsticks and putting it in my mouth. So what, that precipitated you doing a whole Google research project? You're a mouth stuffer. So I'm a mouth stuffer. Is that the you condition? Over- no, you overstuff your mouth. He has oral hyposensitivity, sensitive, or gustatory disorder. <laughs> Say it again. You bite, your, you bite your fingernails. Oh, gee. So li- this is the list of things. Again, say, say, t- tell everyone again. What is the processing disorder that you think I have? Oral hyposensitivity gustatory sensory processing disorder. Huh. Oral hypersensitivity. Hypo. 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 Sensitivity. Gustatory sensory <laughs> processing oh, disorder. My. All right, and list the things that are, I guess, known issues with this d- disorder, which you've diagnosed me with officially yesterday. You bite your fingernail. I do. That's true. You prefer crunchy foods. I what? You prefer crunchy foods. I love crunchy foods. You put too much food in your mouth at I, one time. I buy, <laughs> I buy, I buy ten pounds of those uh, hard large Amish pretzels. You know, I, I buy a 10-pound box from the Amish up in Akron, yeah. Ohio. And last... I'm, I'm sorry, Akron, Pennsylvania. Correction. Uh, Akron, Pennsylvania. I buy the the big, giant bag of those crunchy, broken bits of those big sourdough pretzels. No and salt, by the they, way. They last about three days in your No, house. no, no. They, they, I, it's like three months, four months, 10 pounds. All right, so I, I like crunchy items. Next. You overstuff your mouth. <laughs> well... Food falls out of your mouth and you don't even know it. Oh, you stop it. I'm serious. You know what made me really think of it was the other day when we went to the movies and you were eating the popcorn. You do this with everything that comes like a popcorn or nuts. You will take your whole hand and you'll just dig around and dig around and dig around and take a humongous overstuffed handful of the food and then try to put all of that in your mouth at one time. And I'm like, why not just take the two or three kernels? So I'm a mouth stuffer. Yep. I mean, that's for short. That's your mouth stuffer. But the technical thing is, also, also, you prefer very hot food or very cold food? Because your biggest complaint when we go out to eat is, first of all, if it's not hot enough when it comes to the table, but also you're always instructing me to eat my food before it gets cold. And I'm like, well, I don't want to mm. burn my mouth. Right. Mm-hmm. So you either like it really hot or... You like your shave ice and your ice cream. I love ice cream? You really don't like any food in between. So you think me uh, being a freaky guy and having a real Fuji Marka 709 SE version 2 shave ice machine from Hawaii, you think that that is uh, out of the ordinary, that I have an actual shave ice machine that you'll find at the best shave ice machines on the islands? And that I and that I, I freeze my own ice blocks, make my own shave ice. I order I order my my syrups from Hawaii. You think that that uh, makes me uh, what 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 is the oral? What do I have? No, no, no. You have oral yeah. hyposensitivity, gustatory sensory processing disorder. And I don't even know if I'm saying all of that. Mm-hmm. Right. The, the fact that you have that equipment has nothing to do with this disorder. The fact yeah. that you like ices is that you like stuff super cold. The fact that you have this machine, you're a dork. 
Uh, all right, now hold on a minute. Hold on. There, really short. I, I found the list, and there are things on the list that I don't do. It doesn't matter. You do enough of them. Look, here's another. One. Licks objects around them. I see I, you do that around I, here. I do not yeah, lick. Do. Occasionally, you... yes, you'll go over and lick the wall over no, there. No, I won't. <laughs> that is a lie. I do not lick the walls. <laughs> I don't lick a yeah. stapler. I, in fact, I'm a germaphobe. Yeah, you don't need to have I, every symptom of a disease to have I mean, it, MJ. Right. I mean, if there's 20 symptoms, you don't need every one. If you have 12 of them, ding, ding, big boy. <laughs> you right. got it. All right, hang on. There's more. I think I, I saw you lick one of the mouse. All right, I like, don't lick objects around me. Chew on non-food items. All right, sometimes I'll chew on a pen or an eraser. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chew the inside of their cheeks. I do not chew. I am not a cheek biter. I don't do that. Bite other people. I do not bite other people. Have I ever bitten you? No. Has okay. he ever bitten your cheeks? I mean, hold on, Michelle. You know, I mean. I know. Not in the aggression, aggression way. Exactly. Like, like half this list applies to me, but half the list does not apply to me. I used to like you to prefer- bite my arm when I was little. You prefer spicy and intense, flavorful food. Yeah. Duh. Okay. Well, it's not duh. It's it's a whole <clears throat> list of things that you you present enough of the symptoms. This is you. We all, I mean, when we go out to eat, we're, the kids and I are now like, do not put too much food in your mouth. You'll cut a piece of steak that is so big and put it in your mouth. And I'm like, I don't even know how it's going to fit in there, let alone be able to move around while you chew it. Well, well because it's a fantasy of mine to have the Heimlich perform. Well, I was just oh going to say. No, I'm, I'm kidding. I'm I was joking. Gonna say, I hope you eat at crowded restaurants to increase your chances right. of someone in the restaurant being able to save you. No way. I'm joking around. Fester gave me a look yeah. when I just said that. A fantasy of the Heimlich. I hope I'm he... kidding. It's a joke. Mm. Roxanne, I hope he likes eating at crowded restaurants so there's a better chance of somebody videoing it on their phone. <laughs> right? So I can see it. I mean, you eat you eat Chipino like you're, you're bathing in the basin. Uh, Chipino, which is yeah. like an Italian uh, fish stew with, you know, clams and all you know, uh, yeah, stuff. I mean, I, it's all over you before the end of the I, Well, well here's, here's another thing. So what is oral sensory? Uh, uh, hyposensitive, in other words, unresponsive. They may not feel food in their mouths or may let it drop out of their mouths without realizing it. That's you. No, it's not. That is you. <laughs> How, oh, my gosh. All the time, I'm like, you have food on your face. All right, so I'm it a, is literally uh, all over your face. And it's falling out of your mouth because you've tried to put too much in there. All right. You will have a mouthful of food, and you will still be forking food and then trying to shove more in as you're still <laughs> chewing the last overstuffed bite that you put in your mouth. Right. To simplify, I'm a mouth stuffer. Is that it? You fork so much forking food into your mouth. It's it's <laughs> quite a sight. I'm a forking slob. <laughs> Dude. Yes. Uh, one, one, one time, MJ hit the side of his face with the fork, and he <laughs> forked himself. <laughs> All right. I had to slow down. Go, on that go, one. go fork yourself. Yeah, all right, yeah, all of you. All right, Michelle, are you done with this tear down? No, I'm, I'm, I have to somehow correct it for you because as you age, it might become a problem and you oh. can choke. Michelle, I have to tell you, I found a word the other day. I keep emailing your hubby with this thing I want to do to describe this. He is the word. I found this word. I, I learned a new definition, and it is him. So I it? can't wait for you to hear when we finally talk about it. Well, just say what it is. No, no, no. You're, I have, to, I have to do what the build-up. Build up. I have to do the build-up. So when build you want to talk about it, when What's you want to talk about it, okay, there's a build-up. What's the word? My my daughter is in Cats, as I've told you guys. Cats the, 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 at, the, at the kennel? She's in the no, musical. The musical, oh, the musical. Cats. Oh, the, broad, like, the Broadway yes. show Cats. I thought she was like volunteering at the animal shelter. Yeah, My daughter's at, in Cats. At seven years old. Yeah. <laughs> She's at, she, it's, they're performing on July 27th, Saturday, July 27th at Dunedin High School. You can buy tickets if you go to Oh my God, you're turning this. Commercial this is a, now you're, you're, you're throwing okay. a pitch at us? <laughs> a bunch of seven-year-olds doing cats. Yeah, yeah that's what I want to see. No, no it's a, and, and yeah. teenagers. It's really good. So I'm practicing with her. We're singing Jellicle Cats. And if you've seen the play you know this is, the song. A, this is a hijack situation yeah it really is let me, let me but, but michelle's gonna love it word. i swear let me, let me i swear sc- let me, okay so let me let me I, hold on i gotta squawk 7800 <laughs> the, <laughs> the word is what's hold hold on, hold that on. might be the wrong squawk code so, hang on let me look it up right. so we're we're singing jellicle cats you know jellicle cats come out tonight Come on, come, come on, come on. Yes, there you go. Thank you, Andrew. Okay, Andrew. And I'm sorry, a... the hijack squawk code is 7,500. <laughs> okay. All right, I, I'm okay. going to squawk 7,500. What's okay. the word? Right. So, so then we get to the line, skeptical cats, just 
dyspeptical cats, romantical cats, pedantical cats. So I'm explaining the definition of these words to my daughter so she'll be able to better picture it in her mind and memorize it. Okay. So we get to pedantical, and I was like, I think that means like fussy with words. That's what I thought it meant, right. fussy with words. So I'm and then, pedant- what is it? Pe- they say pedantical, which the word is pedantic. So right. I Googled pedantic to make sure I had the right definition. Oh, well, let me guess. My, my picture came up. Yes, your picture came up. Okay. You are MJ pedantic. I'm I mean, pedantic. If you, just wanna, if, you don't even have to look up the definition of pedantic. So I found it. It's it's a word used to describe someone who, I'm sorry, annoys others by correcting small errors, carrying very much about minor <gasps> details, emphasizing their own expertise, especially in some narrow subject matter, oh i.e. planes, blueberry texture. Roxanne, you're right. MJ, He's pedantic. MJ is the pedantic prick. <laughs> of the pedantic. Oh, oh my, my gosh, God. that is so you. He is. He's of, the PP. Of the pedantic prick. The biggest. Oh, my gosh. You're the I'm, biggest pedantic prick of them all. I'm just like I I learn I fine tune the definition and I found who embodies it. It's it, you, it's, you didn't He's even fine tune it. Prototype. It's, it's, ju- it's just him. I love it. All right, are you guys done now? <laughs> no, I'm gonna. You're gonna be hearing about it all. You're a pedantical prick who suffers, <laughs> who suffers from hyposensitivity, gustical, oral. Disorder. Oh my God, we're writing a hell of a eulogy for this guy. <laughs> my my God. friend MJ was a pedantic prick who had this oral disorder. All right, wow. Uh, who would know? Who would think that there would even be a definition for, for someone who suffers from that? Um, Roxanne, is there uh, box seats available at the high school performance of Cats? Oh, there are all kinds of great uh, my God. I, don't, I don't sit in the orchestra if I go to a show. Turn it into a box office. I need a, I need a box seat. Uh, guys, it, it, is yes. the bash MJ is the bash MJ hijacking over? You mean the? It's not, it's not bashing you. We're no. Just, we're pointing out things that we could, you know, okay. use a little it's, help correcting me. So self improvement. Yeah, it's kind of like astrology, just no. like getting to know. Uh, Both of you guys, yeah. you're wrong. We're not even trying to correct it. We're just acknowledging it. Yeah. Oh, right. thank you, Fat. Yes. Yeah. There you Nobody's go. Nobody's correcting you, MJ. We're just we're just putting it out into the universe and acknowledging it and moving on. Can, can right. I, speaking of moving, on, that's the best thing you said. Can moving I, on. I'm moving on, Michelle. I'll talk to you later. All right. Bye, Bye. sweetie. Bye. I'm, I'm a mouth stuffer. That's great. <laughs> 